Okay, here's a 1971 Datsun. Don't run me over. The car that everybody's talking about. Check out this new ride. This is one hell of a flashy Series 1 71 Datsun 243. Hers like a kitten. Cassidy Carroll Street Classics. Check out this 71 Datsun 240Z. Straight from California. This car is in restored condition. There's been a lot of work done over the last several years. And the restoration was completed in March of 2020. I'd rather not talk to you while you're uh, shooting the, you know, you're supposed to be shooting me, the camera. Hello? Hello? We're hot here. It's 100 degrees in Manchester, New Hampshire on July 27th. So um, check out this 71 Datsun. It's 2017 GM Sterling Blue Metallic. It's like an ice blue. Obviously, it's not a factory color. This car was originally orange. But during the restoration, they took this car completely apart, and they redid everything. There's no evidence of any orange. Uh, it has a six-cylinder straight inline six. It's been all rebuilt. There's less than 300 miles on this since the overhaul. Now, they did everything. They did uh, the carburetors. They did the cylinder heads. They did the water pump. They did the Carter uh, fuel pump. They recalled the radiator. I've got all the specifications on the engine. It is not the original engine, uh, but it's got uh, power brakes, rack and pinion steering, of course. They took the heater and air conditioning out, and people are like, why the Christ did they do that? The guy wanted a cleaner look because he wanted a car that he was going to enjoy. He wasn't going to drive it in hot summer days. He was just going to drive this car. Uh, it was one amongst his collection of cars. It's got the Koenig wheels on it. Gives it a lot of style. The, uh, the front valance, lower valance is all custom. These were re chrome These are original bumpers that were replated chrome, triple plate chrome, and then they painted them body color. Again, they wanted to change the look. The grill is original. It's been all reconditioned. This front spoiler is just, the fit and finish on this car is phenomenal. Really, really good. You look down the side, it's straight as an arrow. Uh, this, I haven't taken it out yet, but this is usually a post here. He cut this out have this fabricated, frame this in aluminum frame with gasket, put a screw with a, with a dowel pin right here. You can unscrew this, pull this window right out. Then you've got a full open effect. Pretty cool, one, one off car. This is an ori original spoiler. I love the way the door closes, by the way. All the emblems are new, gaskets are new, door, uh, door gaskets, window felts. Emblems. This is an original spoiler that they cut in half and they put it back together. All these have been refurbished. The, look at the suitcases, huh? That's pretty cool. This is all original. It's been all reconditioned and put back in the car. Rear defroster. This is a rare early model because it had that hand throttle on the console, which I think was outlawed after a very short period of time. People would catch their sleeve on it. You can see there's a choke. That second one on close to the passenger side is a throttle. Imagine cruise control at the tip of your fingers by your shifter. Kind of dangerous, but that's what it was back in the day. Look at how clean. Oh, they reconditioned and sent this out for restoration. This is an original steering wheel. Now, the odometer reads 15,000. Unfortunately, it's 115,000, but that's what it is because the car was completely restored. We have all the receipts of the restoration. Uh, this car is straight as an arrow. It runs good. Don't ask me why it's still sitting here. Maybe because we sell um, American muscle. I had to have this car. You really need to see it in person. It's one hell of a car. We're going to go for a test drive in a moment, too. This thing really performs well. Check it out at Carroll Street Classics. Thanks a lot.